For today's lab, our activity, we're going to use a spark timer. All our spark timers don't look exactly the same, but they're all similar to this. They all have a 10 hertz and a 60 hertz setting. We want to be on the 10 hertz, and then they have an on-off power. And then here, right, you have a metal strip that's your actual spark timer. We will also be using a dune buggy and a fan cart in our lab. <coughs> going to be measuring, you're going to do, be doing graphs, you'll have the details in your written instructions. But just to show you how this is going to work, we're going to take a spark timer tape, which looks like this. We're going to thread it through, shiny side up, you're going to thread it through the spark timer. This goes in this end, not the other, it's threads through really easy. If it's threading through hard, then you're not doing it right. Then either use clear tape or masking tape, it doesn't matter. We're going to hook it to the end of each vehicle, one at a time, obviously. So I'll do the dune buggy first. Once you get it set up... <clears throat> For the doom buggy, you're going to lift it up off the ground and turn it on. It's probably easier if you have two hands instead of one like I do. Once you set it down, then you turn the spark timer on. Then you turn the spark timer off. You need somebody at the other end. You need somebody at the other end to catch the doom buggy. And I'll show you what the tape will look like in a second. We'll do the same thing. I'm reusing the tape, so I'm getting lots and lots of marks for this demonstration. But I have some other tapes to show you. For the fan cart, we'll do the same thing. You thread it through. Again, you'll use a new blank tape each time. Connect it to the end. When you run the fan cart, you'll turn the spark timer on first and then let the fan cart go. You can turn the fan cart on, but you need to hold it. So I just type this right here. These fan carts are expensive. Make sure somebody's at the other end to catch it. I have a cardboard cushion, so I won't damage the fan cart. So turn it on. High. Keep your fingers out of the blade or it kind of smarts. Make sure your tape is free. Turn the power on and let it go. I actually use low in that demonstration. Your tape should look something like this. I'll let you figure out which one is the fan cart and which one is the doom buggy. One thing that you really need to distinguish between. You're going to need two different distances. You're going to need the distance from between dots. Between one first dot, second dot, second dot, third dot, third dot, fourth dot. First dot, second dot, second dot, third dot, so on and so forth. You will also need the distance between the first dot, second dot, and first dot, I mean first dot and third dot, first dot and fourth dot. In other words, you'll need the distance from the first dot to each one of these. You're going to need both that information in one way or the other. You can either measure it or calculate it. You figure out what's the best way to do it. Same way on both of them. I'll need the distance from this first one to the third one. You're going to need that in order to generate all the graphs. We're going to, from this, these two pieces of tape, you should be able to generate all the graphs we've already been practicing on per the instruction, your written instructions. Good luck.